In this section, I will be data logging and using the data logs to fine tune the field map. And so far, what I have done is I was was able to go in and modify the base map, the field base map, and adjust the fuel cells up in the boost range here from 6.3, 7.0 to 8.0. Um, I did a couple watt runs and I was able to get close to about 12 um, air to fuel ratio using these values. And I still need to further refine these fuel cells up in this corner here. Uh, first thing is to, in order to start data logging, I need to set up the logging parameters. But so far, the settings I've changed are the fuel update rate to 58.8 and the O2 feedback max load to 0.0, .0 psi, meaning that everything above the 0 PS, psi to 18 psi, there is no O2 feedback. And I will have to use the data logs to adjust those fuel cells. And also, I adjust the VTEC and the NOC sensor parameter. So go to Display Explorer. On VTEC here, on the VTEC option, I adjusted the VTEC to come on above 4,000 RPM, off below 38,000, on above 5.1 PSI, and below 4.1. Knock sensor threshold, I set the knock sensor threshold to 2 volts. And I am going to go turn on the knock sensor. I go to tuning, go to knock control, turn that knock control on. So it's registered. And then file save. Save calibration. Go back to the fuel tab. And we will start data logging. But let's set up the data logging. And in order to data log, I am going to do PC data logging. So anything, any window that's in front of me will be uh, data logged. So all these values in this window, basic view window, the knock center channels window, and the option O2 feedback channel channels will be data logged. And let's get started. So click on logging and start PC logging. This is a third gear run. AEM log and then file open and open the latest log and then I want to plot throttle only at this time and as you can see between these two areas is where I went wide open throttle and I'm going to look at that I'm going to zoom in want to overlay. I want to look at engine load, engine speed for now. And O2 and O2 feedback. And O2 target. Click on OK. So just looking on here, you can see that throttle is 100 percent Engine load is 1.1 psi. Engine speed is 2400 RPM O2 at 12.52 and O2 target is 18.7. I want to change that color. Pink is to light. Change it to maybe purple. Okay, so following this line over here, this is the engine mode line. And going up the rev range, looking at O2 and O2 target, and they should be closely together. And they, they, 
they're pretty much close together, which is good. And right here, the O2 is a bit lean, 12.35, which is okay. And then this is where it deviates. And so I would need to go in and adjust a few cells. So let's say at 3.5, so good, at 4,000 RPM and 6.7 PSI, I need to uh, increase a couple clicks of the O2, of the, um, of the fuse cell. So going back, 4,000, 6.6, 4,000, about 6.6 is close to here, and it is a little bit lean, so just don't. Go to five five six or five six. Right here, increase up to five six. And file save. Just on the ignition, you know, to adjust that. So four thousand five six. I'll see. Calibration, yes. Let's go back. Uh oh. Okay. Looking at this, let's go up the red range. Right here, it's too lean. Was too rich now, it's too lean at 457 psi. So let's subtract 457 psi. Let's subtract 442. Enough. Go back up here. Our target is 11.95. And now it's running too lean, so at 8. 5,000 RPM. PSI 5,000, it's too lean. You can increase the number to maybe close to at least 6.9. Lean. We'll just have to keep it as is. This is mainly trial and error. Just adjust the number, do a run, come back, adjust the number again. And it's really consistent. So if we adjust the number, we will be able to, uh, able to hit the target O2. Double click. Back over here. Go to target is high. Five times go to six. Six at eleven psi is lean. We can add more fuel. So six eleven psi eleven. So we need to adjust about say two point. Copy this. Cross. I'm going to extrapolate. Cross over here.
I'll save. So at 14, it's 11.78. So we'll go back and do a couple more runs because I increased the goose cell values and see where they're at. 